everyone. Um, so, I want to talk about a subject, um, and I want to talk about it while it's still fresh, kind of like in my mind, because um, it doesn't happen often. But when it does, I'm become very aware of it, but obviously I've done a lot of research and um, thought in it. And it's, it's hard to talk about and it's not nice um, but it is a reality of many people uh, especially if they dealt with mental health before uh, and that's um, kind of not like the terrible thoughts and I mean I mean terrible thoughts is in your thoughts of self-worth uh, and your thoughts of hurting yourself because um, of your lack of self-worth um, before anyone starts running around and ringing, this is not the case for me, okay, currently. I'm just saying that it is a subject which I don't feel is talked about enough because, probably because people think that people are gonna go running out and um, and call, calling ambulances and, and, and making their life more complicated. So, I don't know why um, like, I, I feel that the only logical idea I have is that it's a bit like mental burnout. So uh, burnout's obviously, or obviously, often talked about when in a business sense, right? You know, or when you're doing something and you, pretty much your work, like work, um, life is kind of like it takes over your normal life, and you just and you and you just there's no end to to the um the oh, struggling to speak I, I am having a bit of a shit day today um you know it's been hard the last 18 months um you know burnout mental burnout is a thing of mine Currently, you know, uh, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to um, cover it in flowers, uh, but I think it's a really important thing to talk about um, because people walk around with it and they don't talk about it, and people just think, and sometimes they act differently, out of character, and people judge them and. I want people to be aware that actually, when people act differently, there's actually normally a reason behind it. You know, everyone's struggling with these things. If you go through life, um, your, your life is very good at, your brain is very good at taking things and packaging them away so they don't affect your daily life. But what it's not very good at is filtering those things out. Your brain, much like a computer, has only got a limited amount of capacity and you can't just load it up with a new hard drive. And burnout is when you get to a point where your hard drive is so full, full but things just keep coming in. And the, the issue being also is that your brain is great at producing stuff. So not only is your you are getting filled up externally, you're getting filled up internally. So we're one of the few creatures on the planet who um, who can self think about their thoughts. Um, so we, and which is, which makes us a really kind of like um, capable s set of beings, but also it's a double edged sword. It's so, you know, you think about your thoughts, you think about what could happen when it hasn't happened already, you you worry about things which which haven't happened yet. You know, you you or that is is can be crippling. Uh and and obviously we see the suicide level of men going up, young men and, and women, but men and especially because men don't feel like they can talk about it because you get judged by your other male counterparts, whether that be work, whether that be external. It's this idea that you have to hold strong. But 
even though our brains are like different, you know, like you know the way women think about the way things, the way men think about things, we're still it is, it's still generally the same brain. You still deal with the same emotions, but for some reason, men have got this kind of like thing where we have to be strong and it's not and like, i don't find let's not i don't find it in this kind of it's not like this like 60s 70s kind of attitude it's just it, i just feel like it's wired in um and and, it, and it's really hard when you are inside your brain it affects your sleep which then obviously affects more fills you up even more you know like it, it can be a really kind of self-consuming, self, um, kind of producing, uh, environment of negative thoughts, which lead to, in the end, and I, and I, and I feel this is probably more, um, around people who have had mental health before, because I, I do feel that, again, like a double-edged sword, you know, I'd like to talk about, you know, you know, you overcoming trauma and you, and you, um, and, and, and that giving you a skill set, which, which unless you have overcome that, you, you don't really get, but at the same time, you, you have had to overcome that trauma. And unless you spend a huge amount of time thinking about it in therapy or, or, or writing things down in books and really, I mean, and that takes time. That takes time, that is not a short process. I'm going on seven years now, and I'm, sometimes I feel like I haven't got anywhere. And sometimes I feel like I do. And it can be really demoralizing. And um, your brain is a survivor. Your body is just a capsule. Like, people don't often don't know how to separate these things, you know, like, Theoretically, if you could take your brain and if the if the engineering or the technology, you could take your brain and put it in someone else's body, in, in another body, and that body would just be a capsule. But your brain is your personality, so you know your brain is the one that's controlling things. Your brain is the one that wants to survive. You know, so when you feel really shit, and when you feel really bad, and when your brain's just like, you know, because obviously your brain's made up of different areas like different personalities different 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 areas organisms working together you know like your front cortex and your rear cortex and stuff like that you know one deals with logic one deals with emotions these two things are like two different personalities you know they, they've got two different roles so when one's just filling your brain full of emotions like what are we going to do what happens here what happens what people think you know or what do you think about yourself you know you're like you know you're a shit person sort yourself out kind of thing and then there's another per, another part of your brain which is a solver and when it all when it your brain starts to fill up and it's run out of all of these different solutions what it says is stuff like i know what to make you feel better if you just made it all go away and many people have fallen foul of that because if you're looking to feel happy which is what most people want. Like most people want to feel positive when they're in a shit situation. You, for example, taking your own life won't make you feel happy. It won't make you feel anything because you'll be dead. And so, but what your brain does is it doesn't, it's not connected with logic. It's connected with like, Fuck, I just need to do this. It's like someone's hit hit the red button on like emergency. And it's the only way it it's one out of options. But it has to give you something. So it gives you that. And you know that it's bullshit. You know. If you're in a certain state, you you know, you know, you've gone down the path, you've done your like in looking into it, you know it's shit, you know, you know, it's not it's not gonna happen, you're not gonna act on it. But it is one of the most scariest fucking things you can ever happen. And for people who haven't come across it, I'm fucking jealous. Because it doesn't, once you, once you think it, once you, once you, 
once you have these thoughts and they're not like logic they just get thrown in your head like injected by an external force you don't you don't you're not all, you're not in control of them you just battle them and you try and surround yourself with positive people and you try and do like stuff like go for walks or something just to because if you just sit there you just think about them uh and, and i normally find that if i go to sleep i wake up the next day i feel perfectly okay so it's like it's like this overload, you know. Your body, your body's like, I need to rest. I, I have no more space to do. Like, like this is the only way. I you're like this is like last. Just, if, just do fucking do this, you know. Like, I run out of options, and it is the most stupidest fucking option in the world. But that's you got to understand your brain. I think a lot. What a lot of people do, they go through therapy and they go through all this, but they don't actually understand what's happening. Like, I find neuroscience fascinating because I spent so much time going to the gym, doing stuff on the wall, sorting my physical body out that I didn't think about actually the king of the castle, which is the guy in my head. And uh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. And... I'm just saying this to, like I said, don't go running around, please, anyone who listens to this, thinking, fuck me, I need to like get in contact with someone because it's guys, but no, that is not the case. But I feel like I have been given, I, I feel like I have a right, a right, a obligation to discuss this stuff so people who are also thinking about it know they're not on their own. So yeah, that's me. I'm sorry to put such a, like a down and negative video on the internet, like around Christmas. I'm really sorry, but there's going to be a lot of people who aren't having the same kind of family Christmas as you or me or something like that. And will be sitting on their own thinking about this thing. So just, if you see someone who's acting weird, who's acting different, who seems down, don't just walk on by, have a chat, make them feel better because... I'll be honest, talking about it is, is the best way you're getting it out. When you're getting it around your head, it's it's not good. But anyway, I hope someone finds this kind of interesting. Please reach out if you're feeling anything and I'll be happy to chat and discuss and signpost and do whatever I can to help. Um, but enjoy the rest of your Christmas. See you later. Love you. Peace.